Uh, hello guys, uh, today we will be uh, learning about data structures. So what essentially is a data structure? A data structure is organization or management of data in the memory. Uh, what this essentially means is, let's say if you had two boxes, a purple box and a red box. The purple box, the purple box was made up of uh, paper. All right. Let's say it was made up of paper, whereas the red box was made up of, let's say, steel. All right. So if you wanted to choose a box that could store water, all right, you had water and you wanted to store it in one of the boxes, which one would you pick? Uh, obviously, you'd pick the steel box. This is because uh, the paper box would not be able to hold water. Similarly, uh, the data structures are essentially boxes in which you put in your data or your elements. So let's see uh, the different types of data structures. A data structure is uh, divided into primitive data structure and a non-primitive or a user-defined data structure. Uh, the primitive ones contain the um, integer, boolean, character, float, double, and pointers. Uh, whereas the non-primitive or the user defined contains uh, linear or non-linear. The linear is um, a data structure in which uh, the data is arranged in a sequence, whereas in the non-linear part, uh, it's not arranged in a sequence. All right. Uh, after that, we have uh, two uh, types in the linear one. We have the static and the dynamic. Uh, the static uh, contains arrays uh, and the dynamic contains linked list, uh, stack, queue. Now that we have understood about the different types of data structures, uh, let's look about how to uh, initialize the primitive data structures in C++. So now for the initialization part, uh, we have the integer A storing minus one, uh, Boolean B storing uh, false, this false gets translated to zero. Uh, so the Boolean uh, stores two values, true, that is one, and false, that is zero. Uh, character C storing C, uh, double D storing 1.2, a decimal point number. Uh, float E also storing 1.1, a decimal point number. Uh, however, the difference between float and double is that uh, float has uh, four bytes whereas double has eight bytes of storage. Um, this is a pointer. For declaring a pointer, we need to put an asterisk before the pointer name. Uh, and before that, we need to uh, specify the data type of the, uh, of the data that it's pointing towards. So let's say if it's pointing towards A. Uh, A has the data type int that we can see over here. So it needs to be set to int. However, if I had the data type, let's say B, uh, I need to set this to Boolean rather than int. All right. And these are the outputs. Let's see if it works. All right. So as you can see, um, the first one was A, that is minus one. All right. Uh, second one, the false got converted to zero. Uh, the character C, then double 1.2, float 1.1, and then the pointer that's this address. At this address, the value of B is stored. All right, so that's all, and I hope you liked it. And I'll be posting more uh, on data structures in the coming videos. So like, subscribe, and share this video as much as you can. And yeah, that's all from my side. Thank you.